welcome to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Scholar First Sin with your group. Without any further ado, let's get this going. I believe it was this guy. <laughs> Go ahead and record a few more episodes. I don't know if I can set the timer. There we go. All right. Now we got our fire long sword, and I'm assuming we went up there and got our ass kicked last time I checked. So let's go ahead and head down. Fuck these guys. Talk to Peggy real quick. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a well, pardon me. Who are you, creature? My name is Peggy. I journey hither and thither in a sort of be careful with her. They talk of us. Well, yes. yes. Be but cautious if you go any farther. There is treasure in these deep circles, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier. And it's the same construction on the sugar wall. I was with this warrior for two, and he insisted that he go and help me. A rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the ring for himself, but trapped me inside. I still have the gent's ring. Do hope it wasn't harm. Hmm. All right, cool. I'll leave this one with him. All right, so basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to walk in there. If I have any homework bonus, that'd be awesome. Nope. All right. Well, we're apparently gonna have to fight it out. But I'm gonna walk in there. The door's gonna close behind me, and then all these guys are gonna run out. If you manage to escape, which it doesn't matter if you escape or not, then he will ask you, or then he'll say, "Ooh, whatever," and he'll give you the white sign soapstone. But I prefer to do it like this. Those will come in handy later. Sweetness. Oh, and I forget, did we actually go and grab the thing that we need from Medulla? I'm gonna go double check over at Medulla and see if I left anything over there. I forgot to get. Make sure I got the uh, rock pushed down. Apparently I did. <clears throat> but there is uh, six homeward bones over here if I remember right. And they're, they come in really handy. Like, I was planning on using one for that little cape journey thing. If you use the homeward bone right after the door closes, it still, uh, it still counts as you got out alive, so... Oh yeah, we did. All right, cool. So I think that's about everything. Let's go see if I opened up this door on accident. I did. Did get the key though.
We're gonna need that for the room with all with the ballistas in it. You'll see later. There's also some cool shit up here that you can grab to reinforce your weapon. And let's go up to him. Get Perry, motherfucker. You never be. <coughs> it's a spawn shard. You never have too many of those. Our soul vessel. We probably won't need those, but I mean. It'll come in handy. All right. Yeah, let's go take on this boss. Yeah, one of my friends actually just got the game and I was helping him on a playthrough. Which is kind of hard to help other people out on a playthrough on this game. Infinite stamina, motherfuckers, though. Oh, no! Yep, yep. Alright. A little bit of cool stuff down here. And that's why we need to open up the mansion. Slab. I'll help us upgrade our weapon. And a Glorant ring. No crossbows, no crossbows. Go. That nice area. No knock on the door. Anyone home? Is there not here or what? Live ring. Ten nine shard. That's a lie. I am playing online, by the way, because there's gonna be times where I'm gonna need uh, to get some help or something. Because I ain't the best player in the world. Two 
Ooh. You can do it. Nope, you can't. Damn. Another count to the death. The death counter. Damn, man. All right. This is actually, I consider the hardest part of the game. So the rest of the game is pretty easy considering that you're already, uh, a after this part of the game and, uh, well, okay. After you get past Sinner's Rise, I'd consider that, uh, before then, the hardest part of the game because before then you don't really have any upgrades or anything like that. Let me just roll through real quick. So, if you decided that you want to play this game, uh, you're going to have to, there, if you are trying to play this game, there's a fucking learning curve, alright? All these motherfuckers have aimbot. Alright, the only pe people on here that are actually easy to backstab, or the, uh, well, the easiest people to backstab are the Scion Knights, or Sean Knights, that's what I call them. Dick, dick, dick. I was fucking pushing the button. Dick, all right. Now I'm not going up there. Up there is a halberd, if I remember right. But it's also an ambush, and it's on this uh, really narrow fucking sword. And I just don't feel like doing it, so I'm not. There was a uh, ten 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 night bug over here somewhere. Ta da! Just like that. We opened up our last shortcut. <laughs> I don't like this guy. The door's locked. You need the uh, iron key for that. These are a couple of NPCs. Could be summon. What's up? What's up? Alright, it's not fate.
They also take reduced damage whenever they're doing the animation like that. The bosses do. It's kind of like you take reduced damage as well whenever you're walking through a wall or and backstabbing somebody. Except you take really greatly reduced damage. Fuck. Stop that shit. Fuck. Stop that shit. Fuck you, man. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, I need a bottle or something. Oh, thank you. Shit! I do not usually get fucked up this bad. Damn, man. Alright, y'all guys, y'all guys can handle it from here. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bye, y'all guys. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna go to Machula, level up. And uh, then I guess we'll go ahead and uh, set up for the next episode where, where we will go and defeat the Pursuer. Damn man, that guy fucked me up. Is that a shot? Here, to see light. However. All right, cool. Yes, I will take an extra shard. Let's level up. What do we got? We got maybe seven levels or eight levels. So adaptability, man. Nah. Um. Hmm. What to put on? Let's do... Endurance, man. Yeah, six levels. Endurance and Vigor, man. Ta-da! Actually, go ahead and, because I ain't planning on using either of these. Because this means we also already killed the Dragon Rider. Just ain't gonna be using any of his souls either. But first, let's go and look a little bit cooler. <laughs> Yep. So one of these, one of these, one of these, and I don't like that hat, so we're gonna buy one of these as well. Ta-da! And now, we look a badass. Well, we look more like a badass. And this is different than the stuff that's gonna drop, uh, over at the hole, at the, over there. <laughs> They're only gonna drop the hollow set, which has holes and it's really decrepit. But, you know, at this point, we look alright. And the shield kind of matches, goes with it. So until then... 
Tschüss.